Goblins, wizards, witches, and muggles, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Today, we are going to be talking about my favourites. That's right, all of the things that I have been loving and enjoying over the last few months. We're going to be talking book favourites. We're going to be talking about beauty favourites, clothing favourites, TV and film, miscellaneous favourites, all of the good stuff. So if you would like to know what I've been loving, and in turn, I'm recommending to you, then keep on watching. And hey, if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome, don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go, cause I got some good stuff to recommend to you guys. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna kick this off with my beauty favorite. This one is, a pretty special one, but one that has filled me with a lot of joy over the last few months. This is the Pen Halligan's Scent Library. I know, how fancy does that sound? Now, if you don't know what Pen Halligan's is, it is a perfume company in London. They have been around since 1870. That's right, it's when they were established. And I discovered them sometime this year. My mum fell in love with them as well. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go to the store, it's too far away, but I want to explore their scents. And they had something called the Pen Halligan's Scent Libraries. This is what they look like. Aren't they beautiful? So you've got their normal scent library. This is their best seller scent library. And check this out. Oh check this out you get all of those perfumes honestly their perfumes firstly they're really high end very expensive like 100 to 200 pounds a bottle this was 50 pounds for the whole scent library all of them including that one as well um so this is a way that i could test them out and find my perfect scent but honestly i like a lot of these so i tend to put them in my handbag look look at that you get a full description of each one look how beautiful their bottles are like oh my goodness now ones that i will recommend so far are juniper sling luna and there's one called the favorite there we go that one's nice as well they smell incredible i actually have a little notebook where i tested each one of them rated it out of 10 and then wrote why i liked it and what it reminded me of so there we have it so that's the first one the bestseller library but then there is also this one which is jazzy this is the portraits scent library so let's have a look at these now these one that's the one that's currently in my handbag right now <laughs> but look it again it goes fully into i love the names and descriptions of these like look at this one the coveted duchess rose i just thought if you guys were interested in finding a new perfume, if you were in, in the market for a new perfume and you wanted it to be a special one, I do recommend Pen Halligan's, but I really recommend their scent library because how fun to get that many perfumes in a set. And I've got to say, this would make a beautiful gift to somebody. So I recommend that. I know it's bougie, but I think it's really cool and I got so excited when I ordered this a few months back. Next up in Beauty Faves is something that you may recognise if you watched my Advent Candor series this year. This is by Esper. It is their Optimal Skin Pro Moisturiser. Can you believe we got a full size Esper moisturiser in a calendar? I'm still shook about it. I've been using this every day since I got it. The smell of it is delightful. The feeling of it on your skin is delightful. I think to buy these, they're about 50 pounds for an entire tub. So I'm kind of shook. That's probably like half the price I paid for that calendar. Beauty advent calendars are unreal. Um, but yeah, I really like it. In fact, Esper as a whole is probably one of my favorites. One of their products that I do really want to buy, which I currently have a little sample of, is their cleanser. It comes in an, a yellow kind of squeezy tube. It's really good. So I think I am gonna get that. I, I'm just, I've been converted to Esper, an Esper fan. If you're in the market for another one, I do recommend this. Also, I love the lid. It looks like it's meant to be made out of stone. It's not, but. Onto some slightly more fun things. This, you're probably gonna ask, 
How's it favourite if you've not used it? Because I can smell them. This is a Stranger Things collaboration with Lush. Now, I not only bought one of these for myself, I also bought one for my best friend Rach for Christmas. It was one of her Christmas presents. She's already had it, so don't worry, no spoilers. And I've got to say, I loved seeing a collaboration like this with Lush. And I do hope to see more collaborations with Lush. Like, imagine if they did, like, Wizarding World times Lush. Oh my god, I'd be all over it. Or Marvel and Lush. Or Star Wars and Lush. Lord of the Rings and Lush. Doctor Who. Honestly, possibilities are endless. Anyway, I bought this. I saw it on their website. They may or may not do this now. It was an exclusive. But I'm going to show you anyway because I just... I loved seeing the collaboration. So let me open it on up. First things first, I've bent some of the things. <laughs> These are meant to be D&D &D cards, but they are actually product cards. This is showing, sorry, that one's upside down. This is showing the bath bombs that they have designed. Oh my God, if you could smell this guys, you'd be in heaven. So let's have a little look at the bath bombs themselves. I mean, Wow. They're a favourite because they're so beautiful. I don't want to use them, but they smell so good. And, oh my God. Oh my God. So this is the Rift. <laughs> it says, spicy flame-coloured waters crackle and fizz as you sink into the upside down. Like, how cool is that? It's, it's a bonfire scent. It's a slightly sweeter bonfire scent. It is really nice. And I just, I can't cope with how cool this is. The second one is to look like a D&D &D dice. Like, oh my God, it's just absolutely epic. I love that one of the sides says Lush. So this is um, a sparkly card. It says Bath Bomb and it's rare. Your D8 with Destiny is here. Two distinct paths appear within swirling peppermint scented waters. Which will you choose? And the scent is intergalactic. Honestly, guys, I, I just... I just can't. Like, it's so cool. Look, we've got HFC for Hellfire Club. ST for Stranger Things. We've got 11. I love that that's on there. Uh, we've got Lush. Oh my God, it's so cool. If these are still available, I will link them down below. These are amazing for any bath lovers that are also Stranger Things fans. Like, they're so cool. And I will get round to using these. I promise I will, but they're a favorite. I keep going to sniff them in my bathroom. Oh, that's cool. It says, run a warm bath and roll your D8 into the water to unleash two colorful peppermint paths. Oh my God. Whenever I use that, I'll, I'll make sure that I show you on Instagram. So make sure to follow me over there. Next up in beauty slash, uh, they're kind of not beauty really. They're more like homeware stuff, but I consider them beauty because it comes from Bath and Body Works. Guys, <laughs> if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I made a very um, incredible, surprising, miraculous discovery that Bath and Body Works are in England. I already knew that they were kind of online a little bit via Next Beauty, but no, they've got actual stores, physical stores. This one that I found was a full shop inside Next, but it was a full store of Bath and Body Works in Meadow Hall. I thought, in fact, I heard from a little bird, it might be one of you guys, that they were gonna open one in Blue Water down south. So to find one in Meadow Hall, I was thrilled. I have been DMing, I've been messaging, I've been hinting, I've been begging Bath and Body Works to open a store. When are you coming to England? Now, not only is it just the basic Bath and Body Works, no, they've got the seasonal Bath and Body Works. They've got the full collection. Everything you think of, we've got here now. And I could not be happier. I did happy tippy taps. That's right, I was skipping. I was tippy tapping through the shop. So I guess Bath and Body Works in England is my favorite, but I'm gonna show you a couple of candles that I bought. Did buy these ones online, but did also buy quite a bit in person when I went to the store. But these are Christmas candles. Oh my God, look at them. This one is my current fave, Tree Farm. I've lit this one quite a lot. Oh, and it just smells like real Christmas trees. It's so good, it's so good. And this one is part of the White Barn. Can people that are like Bath and Body Works enthusiasts tell me what White Barn is? Is that like the bougier scents? Like, I, I need to know. Anyway, this is Tis the Season. I've not lit this one yet, but it's Christmas in a candle. And honestly, I could have cried, guys. I, I think I nearly cried when I saw it. And 
I, I was speechless. I was, I felt very overwhelmed when I was in the store. I was like, I can't believe I'm in England, fangirl in in the middle of a Bath and Body Works. My dreams came true. <laughs> they answered my Christmas wish. All right, let's talk about book favourites. Let's talk about them. Okay, I'm going to start with a book by a friend of mine. This is called The Potioneer's Pocket Book. Look how cute it is. This is by my friend Jack. You may know Jack because I spoke about it many times on this channel. He made the advanced potion making replicas. He doesn't make those anymore, but he does make these, which are almost as cool. This is The Potioneer's Pocket Book. It is a beautiful potion book to put on your shelves and it's, it's just stunning. Look at it. Now, you think, oh, that's a nice prop. No, full book. He's, he's written a full book. Jack, I don't know where you've got the time, but he, he's, he, I mean, this is beautiful. Thank you for sending this to me. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, I really want to read it. Look at all of these ingredients, like for potions. Asphodel, apple tree, oh my god, aloe vera. Can we talk about that foiling? Oh, oh, yes. Anyway, it's a very beautiful little book and I think this is perfect for any like magical fan that loves the wizarding world. It's one of those things that makes it feel like, oh, here's my potion book. Like, yeah, let me just have a look at some ingredients to make potions like in the muggle world. Oh my god, it's so cool. It tells you about where all these plants are from, what they're useful for, the effects, what they're used in, like what potions they're used in, and oh my goodness. It's absolutely beautiful. Go check out Jack. I'll leave his Instagram down below and maybe a link to the Potioneer's Pocket Book if I can. Oh, just the aesthetic of this book is very, very pretty. Two other books to talk about. Mr. Felton has come out with a book. He was very kind that him and his team sent me this with a bunch of stuff, maybe the best smelling candle I've ever smelt on the planet. I have had a little skim through this book. It is my Christmas read this year, but I've had a little skim and I've got to say, I've been enjoying what I've been reading and I cannot wait to properly get my teeth into this because it's going to be my Christmas read. So this is, if you've not heard of it already, it's called Beyond the Wand by Tom Felton. It says, the magic and mayhem of growing up a wizard. Here's the back if you'd like to pause and read. But this is definitely a favourite. I love a good autobiography. There's another one out at the moment, which I believe is an Alan Rickman one which I don't have in my collection yet, but I kind of want to buy it. But yes, yeah, so this is Tom's book and it's even got some pictures in there as well. So, cannot wait, definitely recommend that. It was ad gifted just for full disclosure, but I'm very excited. I'm very excited for my time off and I know that this is a fave because I've already, I've already read a few pages. <laughs> Next up is a book that as soon as it was announced, I pre-ordered it months in advance. And that is this one. This is uh, Harry Potter. We've also got Fantastic Beasts. It's The Magic of Mina Lima. This is a book all about the artwork that Mina Lima, AKA the graphic designers of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts and the Wizarding World. It's all about celebrating their graphic design and all of the amazing things that they have come up with uh, for all of the films and everything. Look, it's even signed by them, which is beautiful. Another book that I've not read front to back, but that's a whole different video. I'm gonna do a video of all the books that I need to like devour in 2023. But this book is stunning. So this is obviously all about the quibbler designs. Oh my God, I'm not gonna show you the whole book, but honestly guys, I recommend this to any Harry Potter fan as well. Eduardo and Mirafora are just geniuses when it comes to design. This book does also have some pretty cool pullouts and interactive things. Like, look, we've we got a Marauder's map over here, would you believe? Look at that. So cool. Very, very pretty indeed. But yeah, so if you're interested in graphic design, oh my God, this smells like brand new book. <sighs> If you're interested in all of the design elements of everything that went into these movies, then this is the book for you. I mean, look at this. This is like a copy of notes that have 
gone into all the design. I can't wait to fully read everything. It's absolutely beautiful. I have been big fans of Eduardo and Mirafora's work for a very long time. Most of the artwork in my home that's in frames in my living room, my office, my kitchen, you know, around and about. I've even got some in here that's um, Mina Lima 2 and my bedroom. They... Ah, oh, they just make some beautiful work and I'm a big, big fan. I'm a fangirl, okay? I'm a fangirl. So to have a book around everything is just, it's very happy. It's very thrilling. It's gonna be very informative. And it's just a stunning book. So look at it. There we have it. That is a recommendation from me to you. I will link that down below if you're interested in getting your own book. Next up, I have got some miscellaneous favorites. Fun little story. When I was a teenager, early years, maybe 16, I learned guitar with my boyfriend at the time. He taught me guitar, the basics of it. He gave me a Fender guitar, and then obviously when we broke up, gave it back. And then I bought myself an acoustic guitar and I played on and off and taught myself a little bit more. And for years, I was like, it's not the same. It's not the same as an electric guitar, but growing up, couldn't afford one. And it got to this year where I was really itching to start guitar again. So I went to a guitar shop with my mum and dad. I was like, a day trip <laughs> to professional music technology where they have like a massive guitar wall. The guy in there was so helpful. I picked out my guitar, I got a case for it. I got an amp as well. And oh my God, I've been having so much fun with it, guys. I've been learning. I've even taught myself the basic, um, the basics of reading tab. And I've been learning some of my favorite guitar solos. Uh, I will show you the, the guitar in a minute. Yeah, I've been learning um, the guitar solo of The Little Things Give You Away by Linkin Park, as well as um, the introduction to Bullet For My Valentine, Tears Don't Fall. And yeah, I've just been having a lot of fun with it and I bought a little guitar stand and I was like, this is my guitar. I picked it, there were so many to choose from. And this is uh, my new guitar baby. Oh. Look at it. Sorry, slapped it on the table. I love it. I, I was tempted to go for a kind of cream one, but I was like, it's a bit boring. But then I was like, look at this. It's kind of like black, but not quite because we've got like that kind of, oh my God, there you go. Here's a close up of it. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. And yeah, so there we have it. So yeah, I in my spare time, I've literally been sat in my lounge with my amp just plucking away, having a little play, having fun. Am I an amazing guitarist? No. Am I enjoying learning? abso freaking lootly I love learning when it comes to guitars and the satisfaction of progressing with something that you're learning is second to none. It's, it's so good and honestly, um, my younger self would be so pleased that I bought myself the guitar of dreams. This is the one that I've wanted for a very long time. It's um pretty much the same as the one that I grew up learning on, but a different colour. But yeah, I had to show you guys. Like, I'm just so in love. <laughs> Let me know if anyone else is learning guitar at the moment and what you're finding helpful and useful. Honestly, guitar tutorials are really helping. I'm picking a song, I'm finding a tab tutorial on YouTube and playing along and going back and playing it and going back and playing it. I also started learning Hedwig's theme and I'm not sorry. Maybe next year I will get a little bit better and show you, but I'm not today. I just want to show you the Guitar of Dreams. So there we have it. That's my first miscellaneous thing. My last miscellaneous favorite is something that I don't physically have here in my office because it is plugged in downstairs. But oh my goodness, it is an LED digital clock and I am obsessed. The aesthetic of it, beautiful. It's so bright at night as well. Like when I'm walking past my office, I can instantly tell the time. It's also got temperature on there. I think you can set the date on there as well. But I just really like the kind of minimalism of it. And I saw it on, I think it was an office tour on here on YouTube. And I was like, oh my God, that clock. I'm obsessed. And it was from Amazon and it was really cheap. 
for a clock like that that plugs in it's usb so make sure you have a usb plug if you are going to get this but oh my god lovely little clock absolutely gorgeous i realized they didn't have anything besides my computer in my office that i could tell the time with so this is the clock that i went for and it's absolutely a kind of miscellaneous tech slash homeware favorite if you like it i will link it down below but i really really enjoy it also i'm pretty sure that depending on how bright your room is the brightness goes up and down so at night it's really bright it's dark and then in the daytime it can dim because it's it's daytime so very clever love it very very pleased with that <laughs> next i'm going to be diving into some wearables be it clothes jewelry you name it i am actually going to start with some jewelry because i have found this oh my god now i have been eyeing this up for a couple of years, if I'm being completely honest. Now, Sam Ride, I do know her. She's a small business. She makes beautiful sterling silver jewelry. I have some of her pieces in my collection already. I have like a silver crescent moon, a silver pumpkin. I have a ring with a moon on it. It's, she's one of my favorite kind of magical witchy jewelry brands and uh, she's great. Anyway, I have been seeing this ring in a jewelry cabinet in a shop near me for a very long time i'm like mm, do i do i she did anyway let me show you what it is so this is a silver ring and it says which it's so beautiful it's actually a thin silver band on it and it's kind of got this kind of plaque on it that says which and i am so pleased with it it's so lovely and i've been wearing it since i bought it really really am a big fan of that so they also i think she also has one that says hag <laughs> but i didn't fancy that one but i did find it quite funny but yeah so if you're after some new witchy magical jewelry sam ride might be the place to go i will link her instagram down below as well as where you can shop her stuff but yes highly recommend big favorite of mine next up clothing i'm gonna start with a pair of trousers that had been taunting me for well over a month i was on the disturbia website if you've never been on disturbia it's so cool it's it's, it's kind of gothy kind of fashion but like wearable and like really nice and i saw this jumper and it was like really cute and it had like celestial like stars all over it but that that's not what i was looking at i was looking at what the model was wearing on her bottom half and there were these beautiful celestial trousers on one leg and then the other leg was black and i searched their entire store i was like these trousers are nowhere to be seen so i actually got in touch with disturbia i was like yo where are these trousers are they a disturbia product if so where are they have i missed them are they not out yet and they were like yo they'll be out in a month a month went by they were not out anyway a little bit more time went by and they finally came out and when i tell you i bought them quicker than i've ever bought anything in my life <laughs> let me show you please excuse the fact that they are creased i've not ironed them but oh <laughs> okay so here they are this is one leg look at that they smell so good because they're freshly washed Mm. yes this is one leg it's kind of like moons and like celestial and the other leg is just plain black now this isn't the first pair of trousers that i have where it's different on both legs i just love the contrast i think they're super stylish i got mine in a was it a medium uk 12 which would be medium these have pockets just saying they do have pockets and my favorite little detail is on the black side it's it's celestial it, they've kind of got opposite pockets and there's black pocket on this side as well actually no that pocket is also pack patterned i thought that was a black in the end blah. anyway there is also um a faux butt pocket here is the faux butt pocket it's not one that you can undo it's just there for looks but yes absolutely gorgeous i'm so pleased with these and they're just my style, so I'm very happy with those. I will link them down below because they are amazing. They have a whole range. They've got a beret to go with it. They've got tops. Oh, they've got dresses, skirts. They've got a whole celestial moment going on over there. Speaking of celestial kind of magical moments, I've only got the trousers because the hoodie's in the wash, but these... <laughs> 
<laughs> I love that I'm just like showing clothes like this. I'm not, I'm not trying them on for you guys, but these are pajamas. Firstly, look at the star detailing. Look at them. Now these are fleeced thick pajamas. I found them in Sainsbury's. So many of you guys have been asking me for the link on Instagram. Check it in the description down below. Sainsbury's, yeah, they come with a f the exact same material, long sleeve, fluffy hoodie pajama set. The only downside is there's no pockets on the hoodie or the bottoms. I will put that out there. But when I tell you, these are the coziest and most magical pajamas that I've ever owned. I'm not lying. I am not lying. Honestly, they are fantastic. And I believe they were around 20 something pounds for the set. Best pajamas in the world, you're so welcome. Next up, I like to tell you guys about what I've been watching, what I recommend to you guys. This is my TV and film favorites. You know that I've got to start with this Wednesday on Netflix. Oh my goodness. If you've not watched this yet, what are you doing? I love Wednesday. I, I have no words for it. I love the Adams Family in general and I love this take on it. I love that the original Wednesday is in Wednesday as a different character. I'm not going to spoil anything but you've got to watch it. It was everything that I wanted it to be and more. I was very very happy with the show as a whole and I'm thrilled that there's a season two. It has been renewed. Have I been tempted to do the little Wednesday dance on TikTok? I have but I haven't. <laughs> but yes, I binge watch this and it's so good. It's so good. Also, one of my favorite things and little facts about it, if you didn't know already, was Thing, the hand, is not CGI. An actual man plays Thing, but he's in like a, a green screen morph suit, except his hand. So it's an actual actor. So cool. There's a lot of behind the scenes online that you can go and check that out. It's very cool. And honestly, the skill and the talent to make just a hand have so much character and personality. It's awesome. Okay, next up is a show which I've been a fan of for quite a while. Sadly, this was the last season, but it's called Dead to Me. It's on Netflix. It's got Christina Applegate in it and Linda Cardellini, I think that's how you say her name. This duo is a perfect on-screen kind of duo. Honestly, they're so good. I got hooked on this after one episode. I've actually watched the first two seasons twice because I really wanted to kind of refresh my memory before watching season three. And I think they tied it off really neatly at the end of the season, which I'm quite happy about. There was room for some more story, but I know that they're not going to do that. It's very humorous. It deals with a lot of topics such as loss and grief and friendship. And yeah, I won't give too much away because you gotta watch it for yourself. It's so good. So highly recommend the show Dead to Me. And last but not least is a Netflix film called Lady Chatterley's Lover. I heard about this, maybe on TikTok, maybe. I believe it's originally a book, I think. It's got Jack O'Connell in it, which I know from watching Skins back in the day. And it's also got the actress, her name is missing from my brain right now, but she played Diana in The Crown when she was like a teenager. So yes, great actors and actresses in it already that's kind of pulling me in. But also the storyline's very good as well. And I'm just gonna say, if you are young, don't watch it without your parents' permission because there is a lot of naughty scenes in it. So if you're an adult though, definitely give it a watch. You see more than you bargain for, let me tell you. It's a very good film. <laughs> I did recommend it to my mum, but I was like, just so you're aware, it's a little bit raunchy, but it's a great romance film. So if you're in the market for a romantic love film, oh yeah, Lady Chatterley's Lover, so good. Okay, so those are all of my favourites that I have for you right this second. I will do another one of these in a few months. I like to try to do them quarterly, but as per usual, it's not just about my favourites, it's about your favourites as well. Leave a comment down below 
letting me know what your favorite things you have been enjoying over the last few months are because that means I'm not only recommending things to you but you are recommending things to me and everyone else sharing is caring that is all I'm saying so I cannot wait to read your comments you could even do a little list of like here's my beauty fave here's my movie fave fave my tv fave and anything you like shove it in a comment down below I cannot wait to read those if you've enjoyed this video and you've enjoyed my recommendations to you today please do give this video a magical thumbs up and I will see you in my next video <sighs> so many lovely things and I cannot wait to go put them away and um can't wait to read those books like properly all right guys thanks for watching I will see you soon bye